Tyler one out here, and today we will be reviewing Legacy Night Prowler. And well, I mean, it's just Cheetor, but gray. Well, you know, being an obscure character that not many know, and just being the like the stereotypical character who who's a repaint of a different character with virtually no changes besides the name. It's just gonna be a cash grab. But being the only figure I have for the Kingdom Cheetor mold, it works, I guess. Uh, when it comes to articulation, a, a head can lo look up virtually all the way. Uh, it cannot look down. Uh, being on a ball joint, it's swivel. Uh, well, if you like turn it around here, I, it can look up entirely. With how the jo with how the shoulders are, are, are assembled and how the transformation is, there is some forwards butterfly here for for the shoulders. There's a swivel here. Uh, nearly maximum up. A uh, can go well, out. Uh, this far back, not at all. Uh, there's a bicep rotation, slightly above ninety bend. I guess like a good wrist swive. It has a decent waist. Uh, a skirt piece here to lift up. A legs can go out this far. Back none. You can get a decent spread. Uh, uh, just below 90 bend. Uh, but you can break his leg a bit. I like even more here uh, uh, if you want to. Uh, a near perfect, well, perfect toe down. Go to a lot of toe up and break his ankle. Uh, when it comes to his articulation, uh, not not the uh, not the articulation. Oh, we just did that. Uh, his accessories. I mean, it's not like Tigatron's tail here, where uh, where it's used like a whip. I mean, considering how how it's curved. And especially since, since how the and how the figure holds it is where is how like the blade it would be curving back. I mean, how can you hurt someone with the weapon like like this when it's curving back? Like even the mainline Cheetor, uh, like from the Rise of the Beasts mainline. Um, uh, yes, uh, the tail is curving, but it's curving to uh, like. This way, or like if, or if the cheater, you know, decides to use it, he can hit his enemies more more easily, uh, considering how it's facing downwards, not upwards. It 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 doesn't make sense for this accessory. Uh, plus, he doesn't have his gut gun, so. Uh, when it comes to uh, to size comparisons, here here's Night Prowler with mainline Cheetor, virtually the same height, and here he is with, well, my slowly a uh, yellowing Tigatron. I like it starting to, it's starting to audience yellow here uh, right at right at the hips, it focuses, and here uh, at those shoulder joints. Well. Uh, let's get to the cheetah mode. And here we have the cheetah mode. And I'll admit, uh, the transformation for this figure is very well a mix between the mainline Cheetor and the Kingdom Tigatron. And personally, I like it because both of them uh, had aspects that I liked. And this figure manages to merge it. 
my my only issue is that for is that for whatever reason the legs the front legs at least are perfectly here uh, angled. I don't know why they have to be angled. I'd rather like if they were just plain straight down like the Cheetor or, or Tigatron, but whatever. Uh, when it comes to weapon storage, uh, you're seeing it right here. There's that weird tail weapon, and uh, when it comes to art, when it comes to overall articulation, uh, there is a hinge here at the mouth. So, so you you can do this or that. Uh, these legs here are on ball joints, so free swivel, and they can go out that far. Uh, these are on shins here. Uh, uh, not shins, uh, hinges, duh. And the, and the paws here are on ball joints uh, for both legs. For here, uh, there, uh, these are also on hi on hinges, but, uh, but it has, well, just about the same, like with the front legs, and nothing with the tail. Again. So when it comes to size comparison, here he is with mainline Cheetor, and here he is with Kingdom Tigatron. And well, that's the review. Uh, hope, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it, despite the countless delays I kind of had. But hey. Here it is. Ho I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs>